All right, so I accidentally started recording on my other monitor because this game does not like OBS. So now we have to go back and restart. God damn it. The headlines were a depressing read. The headlines were screaming bloody murder. The storm was a screaming duet with the approaching prowl car sirens. It was all a scream when you were down for the count and wanted for murder. Ah, oh, God damn it. But at least I get another shot at all this. Not that I needed it, but welcome conclusion. Alright. Do that, get over here. In order junkies. Get that done. The fair one. There we go. That close. That guy is dead. The whole building was rigged with explosives. That guy's over there, over here. My buns will work. hall was ringing. It could have been just a junkie in need of a fix, but it turned out to be something more sinister than that. Am I speaking to Mr. Payne? Who wants to know? My name is Alfred Wooden. You must hurry. The police are on their way. Tell me something I don't know. They know you're there. How? And what's it to you? I will contact you again. The cops arrived, sirens singing in the off-key harmony of the manic depressive choir. I had a few minutes while the SWAT team would go through their usual routine. By the time they busted in, I needed to be long gone. Max Payne, this is Deputy Chief Jim Bravora from the NYPD. Drop your weapons and come out with your hands above your head. That shot. Someone had left. Suddenly it all made sense. The bombs, the Russian mob boss making an appearance in person. Gogniti was his usual self. All talk and no walk. After I hit, the Russian has only a couple of guns left and they can be bought. There's no freaking way he has the guts to try anything after that. As it turned out, the Russian had plenty of guts. One thing he could count on, you push a man too far and sooner or later he'd start pushing back letter on the counter there's a key on the shelf right Oh, fuck. Thanks. Easy. Get her. Come on. Everyone dies here the first time. Oh, wait. Oh, God. Good. Up to Lupino's office. 
The alternate route led there by way of adjoining rooftops. Right. It's never been this cold. Never ever. It's like the sky's falling. Yes, sir. It's the end of the world as we know it. And I don't feel fine. I don't feel anything. Not a thing. I'm freezing my butt off. Yeah. Me too. To get to the roof, I'd need to get to the elevator through the locked door up ahead. Much damage ignored. It's never been this cold. Never ever. Oh, a triple kill. You know the clowns at the laundry? Me? No. You're no good to me then. What? No, no, no. The laundry. Yeah. I know him. Yeah. Give me in there. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, God. There's a friend for no reason. I think it actually matters if um, he's close to me or not. Either way, he already is. Let's go. I am persistent. Shit. I remember this.
New York City is in crisis tonight, with reports of Valkyrie-related gang war in the streets of the Bronx. Apparently, Max Payne, wanted for questioning in connection with the slaying of a DEA special agent earlier tonight, is waging a one-man war against his former partners in crime. Among the list of casualties so far are notorious Mafia members Joey and Virgilio Finito, as well as Rico Muerte, himself a fugitive from the law and a suspect for several murders in the Chicago area. The NYPD has been placed on full alert. A citywide APB has been put out on Max Payne. Deputy Chief Jim Bravura has promised to take whatever steps necessary to bring him to justice. What those steps may be remains to be seen. For NY CNN TV News, this is Kira Silver. This week on Address Unknown. I don't want to go there. It's the last place I'd want to end up. But that's where I always end up anyway. Only, it's not me talking to the pink flamingo, but someone who looks the part down to the finest detail, except that he's evil. I'm hiding in the shadows, watching it all unfold. The flamingo speaks. He can speak here. It says, there's far more fun television. That's... Mirrors are more fun than television. Somehow I know this, just don't ask me how. <laughs> and I, not me, but my double, nods and smirks at this like it was the funniest thing in the world. <laughs> and then something goes wrong, and suddenly they know I'm there, hiding behind them, and they both turn to look at me with cold eyes. And the flamingo speaks again. I have no idea what that means. And that's when I always wake up to my own screen in that bright lily white hospital room, strapped to my bed. Wild. That's wild sister. No. Oh fuck. Did I took care of both of them, if it didn't, I got two dodge ready. It did. Oh, sorry. Now. Why didn't this guy just open the door for that guy over there? Oh well. Oh. 
Let me save. This situation again. A crumpled letter lay on Gagnetti's desk. The letter was addressed to Don Punchinello, but Vinny had never had the nerve to finish it. Jack's gone voodoo. Just the other night, he shot Dino because he wanted to see what his brains looked like splattered on the wall. He's a freaking mad dog. We're running out of men and business fast. Gagnetti had been living in mortal fear of his boss. Jack Lupino was a psycho. <laughs> Vinny Gagnetti was running scared. He could run, but with a bullet in his stomach like a broken bottle of Tabasco, he was quickly running out of time. He knew where his boss was, and I wanted to square things up with Jack Lupino. Cogniti would be moving fast. I don't know about angels, but it's fear that gives men wings. second train ride of the night. The way it started didn't promise anything better than the last one. Freezing wind tearing at my face like sandpaper and razors. Ice hard and slick under my hands and feet. And somewhere in the background the wail of sirens. The city howling after me. New York sped by and fast forward. Dark rooftop water towers and a dead forest of antennas and chimneys all a blur. When the train he was riding slowed down, Gagnetti made his move.
It's Payne. He's coming down the stairs. Shoot the bastard. Okay, boss. You got it. No problem. Hey, hey uh... You know, he's just stuck. Can I just, uh... Nope, I'm able to unless it's in the cutscene. Immortal. His aim is corner. It's pain! He's coming down the stairs! Shoot the bastard! Okay, boss, you got it. No problem. Hey. Oh fuck. Skip it, 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 skip it! Hey! Move, move, move! Okay. What the fuck? Stop, 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 come see! Wait, am I just unable to die? No, no, he's getting me. Yeah, damn it. Hey. Skip it, skip it! Skip it, skip it, skip it, skip Hey. It's pain! He's coming down the stairs! Shoot the bastard! Okay, boss, you got it. No problem. Hey! Ow. Okay, there we go. Done. Yeah, those guys are dead. We're good. That was an off glitch. But we're past it. Fine. Oh. Keep. I think there's an Easter egg over there. Hang on. Straight up kills me mid cutscene. It'd be funny if it weren't so infuriating. What the hell? Oh boy. That's not cool. What the hell? Oh. 
I didn't have to take that damage. My... Oh! Oh. Wait, no! Hey. Seriously now, this guy could win if I didn't have bullet shooting to, or I mean, like, slow motion shooting. What if I did something like this? God damn it. Ow. No. Bane's got a bad. We're gonna be rich. Freaking rich. Even richer than that, wise guy. Freaking, freaking rich. What the fuck? That's in case. No? Okay, I guess we're on clear. Your diaspora has been throwing grenades all day. Chief Jim Rivera from the NYPD with no further comment at this time. Apart from his suspicious food habits, I figured Bravora to be one of the good guys. Fate had just dropped us on different sides in this. But when it came to capturing me, he was way out of his league. I had already ditched the cops a couple of rooftops back. For now. Yes. Oh, no, 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 no.
God damn it. That is... That is cheap. Into the background. Die, 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 die. sewer grates like all the fires of hell were burning high beneath us it was shake down time where's lupino screw you bad start Vinny. Ah, police brutality i rate pretty high on that you, you 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 can't just hurt me in cold blood uh just keep telling yourself that <gasps> listen good candy man i'm not gonna be anybody's fall guy i want to know where your boss is hiding there was no glory in this I hadn't asked for this crap. Trouble had come to me in big dark swarms. The good and the just were like gold dust in the city. I had no illusions. I was not one of them. I was no hero. Just me and the gun and the crook. My options had decreased to a singular course. I'll tell you, I'll tell you, just don't hurt me no more. Lupino's at Ragnarok, Rock, the nightclub. Book me, take me in a home into the freaking jail, just don't hurt me. Your rights will be read at your funeral. <laughs> 